Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to What's Map, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bomb Bombi and you're very, very welcome. So today we have got a creator we have done six times in the past. Uh, episodes 171, 202, 489, 515, 531 and 582 where they had 7, 12, 13, 12, 12 and 9 stars respectively. So pretty good across the whole with one or two mediocre efforts in between. Today's one is a good one. So to show your appreciation for a good map in advance, you know what to do. It's that daily reminder. That's right, hit the like button really does support the channel, gets to be seen by more people and helps me grow a little bit more every single day. So thanks for your support. Today's map is South Fork map 1951 by It's Okay. Now It's Okay does have this habit of making uh, really striking maps and today is one definitely to hit that. There's your start square. It uh, looks like there might be a limited amount of build plane, but there's definitely enough. We'll see that shortly. There's your resources, uh, fertile ore, a little bit of oil. The oil's quite high up, but it is accessible if you want to get to it. And then off to the workshop. Well, it looks like there's not much to subscribe to, but there is a one-click collection. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to follow that link across and have a look what there is. There is a South Fork theme, a South Fork LUT, a custom bridge there, national highway, rural train double track, and, and so on, and so on. And some little bit of foliage, not much in the way of foliage. If anything, I'd like to see a little bit more. So let's have a look what this map has got for us today. Good standards is uh, the first thing I'm going to point out. For example, this little elevated section here, very tidily done, uh, very balanced like that. And the aesthetics are glorious. In fact, if you're wondering just how good the aesthetics are, we'll have a really good vantage point in the moment as we, as we cruise around this bend. If we look between the trees and look over there and look at that. Oh, very nice indeed. Very nice. I'm going to enjoy today's show. You are going to enjoy today's show. I'm telling you, if you're not, go away, okay? Now, this bridge here, I think I prefer the pillars not to be in the water. We'll have another one in a moment, like this one here. I'm thinking, if I was building a bridge there, would I put the pillars in the water? Shall, shall we go back? Shall we have a look at it? Shall we? Shall? Shall, yes. Um... Yeah, would I put the pillars in the water or either side? Would it be easier for me to put the pillars either side? I think, yes, easier on the sides, even if it wasn't, uh, wasn't a suspension bridge instead. But uh, these are the minor grumbles that I'm going to be coming up with today because there isn't really anything major to have a go at. I do like to have a little bit of a go at things. Now, I'm sorry if I if I have a go at things, but uh, sometimes I just get a little bit upset, especially when I feel I feel that the creator could do, well, can do better, as possibly let themselves down sometimes. This isn't the case today. This is a beauty. Okay, the next intersection coming up. I wonder what this is going to look like. Is there any problems with this one? We'll pull up here, have a little look there. It's very slick, it's quite tidy and condensed. I will say though, uh, we do have, if we have a look up on the right hand side, uh, three lanes merging out into six or splitting into six. Um, pillars fine there actually, no two problem there. Over here, we've got, yeah, th uh, three lanes, no, f five lanes merging into three is fine. God dear, I nearly had trouble getting that out, didn't I? Whereas over here, we've got six lanes merging into three. I think it's too much. So we have got the uh, the two lane highway that could have been used, in, like downgrading the intersection to make it work. I think that was probably, that would have been a slight, a slight improvement. But it is all, it was all minor stuff today, today's, today's map. This, this for Nambi Pambi like me driving along a cliff edge, this would scare the freak out of me. <laughs> I'm not marking it down because it's scary. I'm just saying, um, yeah, uh, I'll, somebody else could drive. I'll have my hands over me. I thank you very much. And then along here, we've got our next intersection, which is very sweet again. Looks like it might be plopped, but tweaked and plopped and tweaked is fine by me. The bridge down here looks a little bit low. Is it donut proof? I'm going to say yes, but it looks like it might be tight. I uh, can't, can't check it, but... Uh, 
It looks like it's okay. Possibly. Maybe. Possibly. Okay. Yeah, no street light clipping. So that's something, I guess. Now this road here, this highway, it, it opens up this entire section over here. My only real grumble here is the highway is possibly a bit too long. It could be trimmed back to about here. Uh, it would give us uh, more options for expansion. And also with the rail coming out here as well, it just gives a bit more room for the rail to move into without the highway already in place. Once again, not marking it down for that. Just, uh, just what I think could be a minor tweak, a minor improvement. Maybe something that you could do once you've grabbed the map and start playing on it. Because I think a lot of you might actually be doing that with today's map. Okay, now down to here, down to the bridge, custom bridge, and it is exquisitely done, exquisitely done. Uh, let's have a look there. I thought I saw a little bit of stop start on traffic. Let's just watch the traffic here. Um, no, it seems to be flowing okay, actually. I take that back. Uh, yes, the bridge is beautifully done. Very hard to hold the camera steady in the air like this. But if I come around here, we have a little look down the middle there. It's completely centered. Absolutely beautiful work. Well done. Pillars, a lot of lines, but hey. Oh, look, now we've definitely got some stop start or something going on here. What is going on here? Traffic merging. Traffic all wanting to get into the right hand lane. Well done, traffic. Oh, cement mixer. Hey, good move, mate. <laughs> I like you. Oh, not so much now there. But there you go. That's uh, possibly a little bit of traffic manager to fix that one if you're going to be playing that map. But uh, yeah, so potential possible traffic flow issues. You see that pillar? You see that this pillar here? You see it? Just a little bit off centre. Um, yeah, there is room to move it. I know we're saying that there isn't, but looking like there isn't. But if we move it back and in, I would think we can still get that under there. Yeah, there you go. That's fine. That's fine. Once again, minor issue, and we do occasionally see that in real life, but uh, it is only occasionally. And I think that looks just tight. On, on a beautiful map like this, I think perfection. Perfection is what we should be striving for. And again, a little bit of stops. Oh, now this is a ridge. This is a ridge. That needs fixing. Just a little bit. The traffic's having to slow the go up it. <laughs> okay. Oopsie daisy. Yeah, these things happen, apparently. <laughs> so anyway, that's a, that's a little minor. That's that's probably the biggest detailing flaw on the entire map. So uh, yeah, you won't see anything worse than that. We had a bit, we've had our enter entertainment. We have had our entertainment. Where have you been? Camping? Holiday? Is there a little holiday, holiday inn down here maybe? Anyway, uh, again, exquisite elevated section here across the valley. Very sweet indeed. And then if we follow this down, we're getting it. We are now into the start square. So uh, there's going to be an asset or something down here. This is really nice detailing work as well. Just, just tidy, clean, measured. I like that. It works perfectly fine for me. Perfectly, perfectly fine for me. Okay, uh, so somewhere around here should be uh, a nice perfect bridge. Perfect bridge. Do you like a perfect bridge? And if we, yeah, we can break it. Oh, look, four lane road. I told you, four lane roads are are there. National Highway. But we'll come this way because somewhere down here must be, must be. Nice little road there. Yes, I see a shadow. Shadow. So this is the Nang Chang GCP by Luminu. It's a skyscraper, which is going to really test my camera work again. And we'll do a factoid, get it out of the way now, because I've got more to talk about with this particular building. In 1963, uh, Francoise Gillot left her longtime lover, Pablo Picasso, because he was continually unfaithful. By then, Picasso was in his 80s. Oh! <laughs> Uh, I haven't even got the strength to be unfaithful now, let alone in my 80s. Good grief. How did he do it? But anyway, yes, some great work here. Having said that, there is a little bit of, I don't know if it's mod issue or what, but we have a LOD issue with this particular LOD issue. Watch this. If we, um, we change camera, there we go, and we'll just pull out a little bit. Watch how the glass, the, the surround separates from it there pops out so 
just a little bit of a LOD issue, I think. I'm not an expert on these things. I'm not an asset maker, but there we go. So that's the Nanchan GCP by Lumini. Today's asset of the day. <laughs> get tries to get naked <laughs> as we watch it. We, we we pull away and it takes its clothes off. Ooh, uh, this is... Okay, so now this national road is four lanes. Uh, again, because I'm a bit of a Nambi Pambi, I think I'd prefer a solid line going down the middle. This isn't obviously the map maker's error. This is uh, this is just the road that we are looking at. Because if I was driving down the uh, the second lane here, the, the overtaking lane here, there's nothing to stop me from swerving out into that truck. I know a solid white line won't, but it, it it's a bit of a reminder that you're in the middle of the road. So... Uh, I'm not marking it down because, again, I suspect whoever made this particular road uh, is probably in a part of the world where there is a dotted line in the middle. Maybe we're supposed to be able to overtake into oncoming traffic. Trees overhanging the road there are fine. They're perfectly high enough. But if we come onto the bridge, the same height of tree just kind of like drags a little bit lower. Again, it's not a huge problem here, but it will be when we uh, go across to the rail. You'll see when we get to the rail, we'll have the same issue, but you'll see that it does become a bit of a minor issue, but perfectly fine here, nothing being marked down at this location. Going up the hill, up to the upper plateau, to the plateau, oh, don't get to say plateau very often. It's a lovely word, plateau. <laughs> Anyway, that bends and winds its way off to the edge of the map over there somewhere. Let's have a look at that rail. I've got the terrain line switched on for those realists that really want to see a perfect, perfect rail scenario. It's not quite, it's, it's very good, okay? And I'm not, I don't have any issues with this one. If it's within eyeball tolerance, uh, then that's fine. But uh, yes, there are one or two areas where we'll have some slopes. Here, here we've got the overhanging trees, perfectly fine there, the train will go underneath that one. But then when we go elevated here, the same height of overhanging branch now becomes something that if the driver's cab hits that at 100 kilometers per hour, there's gonna be some cracked glass, and especially with this one here. So uh, again, it's not a huge issue, nothing I'm gonna be breaking a sweat over, but uh, I'm sure one or two of you will be sort of like taking notes um, using this little bit of advice for your own maps in the uh, in the future months hopefully hopefully can't wait to review your map be lovely the rail comes down here and we've got a potential uh, station that we've got over here we've got some slopes going on here now once again there's yeah, a potential potential railway station to this zone here the start square is a little bit lower you can see by the height of the Nanchan building it is actually quite a drop uh, speaking of a drop we are coming down the hill here uh, so realism be damned, but it's not too bad. It was within eyeball tolerance, so I'm okay with it. But uh, it's there for you realists, those that want it to be accurate. It's not. Okay, but it's, it's, it's nice. Another potential railway station location over here as well. And uh, the, ro the rail, the road, the road comes back up the hill and comes back onto the plateau where it becomes moderately flat again. So as the terrain changes are... Uh, are where the problems are if if you can call them problems i don't know if they really are problems are they problems let me know in the comments below right we're coming up towards the intermission and after the intermission we'll have some more things to talk about I probably should have have you never quite worked out how to use poppable rico and what the heck is poppable rico anyway then you need the beginner's guide to poppable rico by bon bon b click the information button below And so back to the uh, South Fork map, 1951 by It's OK. There are no shipping routes. The rivers are a little bit too narrow to even consider that, so that is fine. But we do have this one air route that just drags itself across the map beautifully. It's fine. I have no issues with that. Works OK. Now, water flow. We have lots of rivers, realistic star rivers as well. Ooh, and they flow, and they flow down here, and they, they merge in with the main river that goes off that way. Now, we need to go upstream to find the start square, and we'll check out the start square. And I'll let you answer your own question here. Is, is there enough water coming through the start square to make it work? It's quite narrow, but it is a, it's a half decent flow. It's not too narrow, it's, it's a little bit, on the, it's okay dip, Depth-wise is fine, 
Is there enough there? Is there? You tell me. Now, one way of going around this, of course, would be to stick a reservoir in so you can grab hold of a dam and we'll do, I'm just gonna drag a dam across and try and find the location that it'll fit somewhere about there. And we'll have a look and see if we can't fill this up with water. Uh, we'll have a little check on this one as we are going. Come down to camera mode again. And it seems to be, is it flowing away? What's going on here? Um, is that flowing downstream? Can't be flowing down, that's gotta be uphill. Let me have a little look, see if we can see any arrows on the go here. There are no arrows on the go. What's the cause of this? Something very odd. Maybe it's just uphill this last section. Um, okay. Let's delete the dam. Shall we delete the dam? Yeah, we'll delete the dam. And uh, see what happens with the water if we just let it sort itself out. So I thought it might be an easy, easy case of just popping down the dam and it would fill up, but clearly not. Uh, water spawn points, I wonder what they are like. Ah, we've got two, very, ah, yes. Yeah, so we've got top up water spawn points as we go along. If we put the dam just south, I say south, just below those water spawn points, that might make a difference. So now the water spawn points are behind the dam rather than under it or the other side of it. This might make a difference. Let me also, I think what we need to do is to give the water a bit of a chance because there is a, they are low capacity water spawn. If we push these up a little bit, so grab that and come on, come on, baby. There you go, that's the one. <laughs> yes, so we'll pop that up there. It'll, um, it'll just help to uh, encourage it to fill up a little bit while we have a look around the rest of the map. Okie dokes, let's see what's going on. The rest of the rivers, the rivers look really nice. Okay, so we are looking at the South Fork, South Fork theme as made by It's Okay. Very good job, I must say. And there's just enough foliage down here for it to work. My only real grumble is I'd like to see a little bit more variation, even if it was just a generic tree pack. Just add a little bit of um, different color, a little bit of uh, variety. Just a little bit of variety to the larger trees. Not much, not much. Just a dabble here and a dabble there. Because I see we do have a variety of, of uh, items there, but it just, uh, I think just a little bit more, just a tad more would be better. Okay, let's have a look at the mountains. The mountains, they look glorious, they look realistic. We've got these mountain streams running down them. What about water spawn points? How are we looking for sources? Uh, looks fine. It's uh, it's quite light and gentle. I like that. If anything, though, it's possibly a little bit too high up the mountain for my taste. Uh, again, being just minorly picky, um, just minor things here. Maybe instead of having the water spawn point quite as high up the mountain, rather just have it a little bit lower so that the the trickles, the the actual water, the the rainfall can just make its way down the mountain first because it's not like snow melt. If it's snow melt, I would buy into that, but it's not. So anyway, this is what it looks like with the South Fork thing. But what if you wanted a temperate map? I'm gonna show you what it would look like with the settings that I have set up for um, St. Catherine's Point, my very own map. This is with the theme mixer. It is a combination. If you want to check out the theme mixer settings, obviously head across to my map and uh, you'll, you can check that one out there. But uh, I think it still looks really good, even it, as a temperate map. But uh, obviously we're not grading it on a temperate. I just wanted to let you know that if you wanted to change things because that redstone was a little bit too much for you, you can and it still will look, oops, sorry, <coughs> got a bit wet. Um, it still looks glorious even in a, like a nice lush of green. So the question then is, how is that dam doing? Let's go and have a little look at said dam. And the answer is, um, I'm not really, what's going on? Do you know what? I think the answer here is I'm just gonna have to go crazy and just pop some extra spawn points in and increase the height of them. And I'm gonna get rid of the trees as well because they're gonna drown. I don't wanna drown the trees. Let's drown the, let's kill the trees rather than drowning the trees. Uh, well, let that fill up while uh, we go and do our gradings. Uh, so uh, it's your chance now. Is it, uh, is this a one star map? Is it a five star map? Is it somewhere in between? Your vote really does count. We use it for the viewer's choice top 10 at the end of each month. Will this be one of the top 10 maps of the month? And if it isn't, what is wrong with you guys? <laughs> it clearly is, okay? It's at least in the top 10. 
if not a little bit higher than that. There we are. So aesthetically, what do I think? I think it looks really good. My main grumble, if anything, I think a little bit of extra variation in foliage, just one, one option would be enough and we would look much better. So I think four stars, but it's very close to a fifth. Detailing across the whole is very good indeed. One or two tiny weeny grumbly bit like the off center pillar. Not much to mark down, but there is stuff that we can mark down. So it's getting again a high four stars. Gameplay potential, very high. Slight question mark on is there enough water going through the start square? Question mark, possibly there is. Uh, and there might be some traffic flow issues as well as we've already seen but again it's minor and it would be very very easily fixed very easily fixed so i'm going to give that four stars as well so uh four four and four for south fork map 19 40 51 by it's okay and it gets without question from me the bomb bomb me seal of approval this is a map to play okay there's no question it's low on dependencies. Um, shall we have a little look at the dam? Ah, there you go. The dam's filled up nicely. See, it does work. Just to have to push up the spawn points to high capacity. Yes, this is actually a bit of a dream map. I think possibly, possibly my favourite of all of its OK's maps. Even though it didn't get, didn't get that fifth star anywhere. It was very close on two of the three fronts. Okay, anyway, so thank you very much for watching, commenting, for liking, and for subscribing, and for joining me for another map review. Join me tomorrow for yet another map review, and it might be, it might be as good as today's. I'm not telling you, it might be. There's no map on the screen now if you want to go and have a little vote on that one. And uh, hopefully this weekend we'll have a Steam Weekly Chart special. Still haven't made it, but I am intending to crack on with that as fast as I can. I really need to get it out soon. See you tomorrow.